luck. Oh, yeah, thank you. Best of luck with that. Now, he's trimmed the tresses of Victoria Beckham, Kira Knightley, and do a leaper to name but a few. And our celebrity hairstylist Luke Hirschison is here to work his magic on three this morning, viewers. Luke, I'm just looking at your hair. Hello. Thank you for can the I, I've got a little morning. bit of vegan burger on my hand. That's <laughs> right. But I've wiped. But can I just. Cool, cool. Oh. Have, have, a, have a stroke. It's so soft. What do you put in there? <laughs> just a bit of cream. It isn't just, there's something magical. A lot of men watch and want to know what's in there. It's got to look good. It looks great. Bit, bit, of, a bit of a blow dry. Thank yeah. you. Good, good to be here. So is the bob back? So I kind of think it's never really gone away, yeah. but every time it comes back, it comes back in a different way. And there's loads of celebrities that have been doing bobs recently, mm -hmm. uh, but I think what makes them different is that they are not uh, as graphic. They don't kind of... Um, they're not as geometric as they used to be with those kind of images from the 60s. Um, it's all about celebrating imperfections and having really great kind of texture, natural drying, and so kind of embracing your natural texture and having, you know, more chopped up, soulful kind of bobs that yeah. feel like there's a lot more going on as opposed to kind of like blunt, heavy, soulless, graphic ones, if that makes sense. When there's a buzz about a hairstyle out there and in the magazines and stuff, do you see it in the salon? Are people flooding in going, get me this? Yeah, I think, I think we're kind of in this era of having, like, great haircuts. It's not like 10 years ago where everyone was really attached to their long hair. There's a real confidence that's happened. I don't know if that's from the lockdowns and, and, and all of that, but people are just much more willing to have a new look. And actually, I think there's something really youthful about going shorter, having a really definitive haircut, and then celebrating your natural texture, so not blow-drying it to within an inch of its life. And that's when I think it starts to get a bit frumpy. So this is all about kind of bobs with lots of lots of texture and movement going on. I like the way you said that, because you are going to be cutting a bob live on air on this morning. So if you just say it's going to be just... not doesn't have to be too perfect, that you're going to do a good job. Set myself yeah. up. <laughs> you have you like, you got to ask, okay. who's going to get the haircut uh, on live until the most terrified-looking person? <laughs> <laughs> At the moment, yeah. it's going to be OK. He's good. Yeah, you're in it. safe hands. You're in safe hands. Kelly's actually going to do it live on air. Yes. But Zena, you've already cut Zena's hair, haven't you? Yeah, so um, Zena's hair, I think we've got some shots of her before. But basically, it was, um, it was very, very long. Um, just um, what you oh, can see lovely. here. Oh, it's lovely. Look how um, long the hair oh, was. My she, she'd braided it this morning, so she had, like, um, this kind of uh, uh, kind of texture running through it, but actually it was kind of a bit straighter than we thought. Um, so brought her up to a really nice length, oh, somewhere like in between the, the shoulders and the jawline. And actually, if you could just turn her a little bit, this gets very, very slightly shorter towards the front. Yeah, now, I can see it. it's not huge. It just takes away from that kind of angular idea yeah. of a bob that, again, freshens it up. She had a bit of a fringe before. We've swept it over to the side. You get a really nice amount of volume at the front. And then again, you know, lots of... This is completely air-dried, so we just put a bit of, a bit of foam on it, um, just kind of zhuzhed it up and let it air-dry, scrunched it in. And so it's really about bringing out loads of natural texture. I think that's what makes I mean, it really modern. I mean, the before modern. and after is just unbelievable. Shocking, right? I mean, you look like a different woman. You're smiling more. How do you feel, Zena? I feel better now. I'm wearing makeup. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. So, that, what, do you think you'll miss your hair? Did it feel weird straight away? Not yeah, I've it? never, literally, never had it cut short. I've always had it as long as really? possible. So it's, it feels so much like lighter and fresher. So much less like shampoo. It. Do you like it? Do yeah. Like it? I mean, we're new I wasn't to this sure summer, at right? first, but it's, yeah, it's, I do really like it. Great. <laughs> I love the natural wave that she's got in her hair. It's really nice. It just brings out the volume, like yeah. what, right at the front. So you know, it's just about finding volume in the right places and just using that fringe that she already had, but kind of blending it into the side just makes that volume really pop. OK. You look great, Zena. Thank you. Well Thanks done, for coming Zena. in. Thank you so much. So this is Katie. Hiya, Katie. Hi, Katie. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, good, thank you. Katie's got half a hair. <laughs> so you've done half a bob? Yeah, so basically we prepped it this morning. Um, she had... I think we've got some really good pictures of, of her before, um, but also it was... It was um, oh, you can lovely see it's like hair. Super, super long, really gorgeous. I'm probably going to get shouted out for cutting it all <laughs> off. But she was really up for the change. And the one thing I wanted to say was... Um, kind of going into um, uh, having a haircut. She'd had shorter hair before, but she'd kind of gone into that, like, weird uh, mid-length point, which is kind of ends up in no-man's land. Yeah. And I kind of think if you're going to make that change, you have to really commit to it. You've got to have the confidence to do it, which she's done today. I think we've got some pictures of when she cut her hair off a couple of years ago. Um, it felt very blocky um, and very heavy on the ends. So what you can see we've done today is um, we've just made sure that this is really kind of um, chopped up and, and the ends are just a little bit more... Um, Ooh, a little bit more shattered. Yeah, we're just going to... Just finishing it off. <laughs> oh, you're cutting it with a thingy. Yeah, so this is, this is a razor. Um, you can see you've got a beautiful face frame now. 
really just pops. I like the way it falls as well. It's not perfect, do you know what I mean? It's not got that straight edge. That, I like that. Yeah, I think, I think that's really what makes these bobs, like, really um, epic. You know, they, they don't feel kind of wow. frumpy. They feel really fresh. And I actually think um, she looks younger um, as a result of it. But, yeah, it's, 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 it's very much about celebrating the, the imperfections. Can we, make, can we use the, that hair on the floor for yeah, some tapings just... for me later? <laughs> for, <blonde laughs> for sure. But, yeah, beautiful face in. framing. It really, it really, really pops. Luke, it's such a responsibility <laughs> to cut someone's hair when they come in with long hair, isn't it? Do you, oh, my gosh. Do you feel lovely. a bit nervy sometimes when you make a big change? Like uh, only on TV. Only on TV. <laughs> Katie, how do you feel about it? I really like it, actually. And I, if I was going to get it cut, I wouldn't have gone for such a, like, shorter one. So I really like it. It's something I wouldn't have chosen myself. So it's really, really love it, honestly. You. I love it, too. <laughs> Oh, well done. It's so quick as well. I know, it's so <laughs> quick. <laughs> Let's move on to the last one then. This is uh, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Hello. OK, so this is a full cut now, Luke. Yeah. This is your <laughs> so, moment. So, um, so yeah, we're going to go kind of jaw length <gasps> with Kelly. You're going to go that um, short? Just going to... She's got this... It's just worth turning. Just, we've got this really beautiful um, kind of fringe that was already there. We're going to use that because that's the beginning of a really nice frame. I like to think of a, a picture... Um, I like to think of a kind of a face as like a as like a picture and the haircut as kind of like the frame. So uh, we're going to use that to My uh, word. to really um, there's big to really <laughs> pop. There is big shopping going on. You. Your hair is an amazing colour as well. Thank you. So it really is. I love getting my hair cut. It's so much more healthy after you have that cut. You know, when you have a haircut, it just looks so much better. I'm in and out there in about forty five seconds. Really? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unless oh, Luke gives it. me the name of his special hair gel that he says he doesn't use. <laughs> it's a cream. It's just a, a nice little bit <laughs> oh, of cream. Oh, it's a cream now. Yeah. Does it normally take, take you this fast to do a hairstyle? So Would I you like to have a bit more time? Hair cutting, yeah. Of course, we always want a little bit more time, but hair cutting's really changed over the years. You know, it used to be um, things were very, very graphic and they took kind of a long time to, to cut. And, and really what we want to do now is just celebrate kind of the imperfections and make sure that's kind of what, thing, what kind of gives like haircuts the modernity is that when, when things have got, um, yeah. you know, a little bit more, a little bit more um, shape, a little bit more movement. I and mean, you can see already we've just brought that length up. Um, she's really kind of transformed to something that's um, a, lot, a lot fresher. It was kind of super, it was super uh, kind of long and quite dry on the ends, which... It's incredible uh, how it changes somebody, isn't it? Just we, just open up that, we open up the face, suddenly you've got a little bit more face framing going on. But, yeah, just, uh, just much sharper, but, but, again, not kind of super perfect. It hey, looks so nice. How are you feeling, Kelly? A lot, of, a lot of pressure on Luke there, live on telly, right? Very exciting. I'm going to be a half-term honey. A <laughs> half-term <laughs> honey? <laughs> you are a honey. You was a honey before and after, babes. <laughs> Amazing. You look lovely. Wow. And had you planned on getting a bob or is this just because of what you're doing here today? Just felt very open to a change and something fresh for summer. Oh, well, it's looking really good. We're going to have a full reveal in just a minute. Before all that, though, the Loose Women are next up here on ITV. Hey, Christine, what's on the show today? Any haircuts happening? <laughs> no, no, sadly not. But it's very good. They're very brave, though, getting their haircuts in the telly. Good for you, ladies. Like, very well. Um, yes, coming up here, can you tell how your partner really feels about you from one look alone? Also today, would you confront a parent over their badly behaved children? And should teachers really be tasked with tackling the teen vaping epidemic? And from kids behaving badly to men behaving badly, actress Leslie Ash will be here too. See you soon. Oh, yes. thank you, Christine. you, Christine. Wonderful. And thank you, Luke. Thank you to all our models. You look absolutely amazing. Thank yeah, you so much. Great.